so already in our previous video I have discussed about uh, activator and if you haven't watched that I have provided link in the description you can have a look at that and in this video I'm going to show you how to expose custom information uh, using this uh, info API so there are two ways to display custom information the one is using uh, application or properties so what you can do is that uh, you can directly go to your application or properties and uh, you can uh, use info prefix so you have to use info prefix that is mandatory and after that you can uh, pretty much type uh, whatever you want like for example let's say uh, I want to display something like um, uh, current user count or something like that and uh, so this information uh, will be displayed in my info API so uh, let me restart my server for that All right, after restarting when I refresh yeah you can see that um, so this information is available here so that's uh, so that's how you display static information uh, through application or properties uh, but let's say for example uh, you want to display dynamic information programmatically uh, like for example if you want to display how many users are currently active uh, or if you want to display uh, like uh, concurrent users or something like that uh, you, you cannot uh, really do that with application or properties you have to do through uh, programmatically all right so uh, for that all you have to do is that so uh, before that let me create a separate class so uh, I'm going to create a separate class called uh, uh, info service and I'm going to mark it as component now after that you have to implement an interface which is uh, info contributor and uh, after implementing that you, you have to override a method which is contribute method now in here you can uh, do whatever you want like for example you can call your database you can query your database uh, to fetch uh, current users uh, you can pretty much do whatever you want but for simplicity i'm not gonna uh, go that level uh, I'm just going to display some uh, static information. I'll just uh, display information like uh, how many users are active. Uh, so for that, uh, I'll just create a hash map of a user or users and uh, the count. Let's say user count or something like that. Uh, let me create a hash map. All right, in here you can uh, put whatever you want. So uh, I'm just going to say current user or current users, uh, let's say 10. Now uh, this information you might want to pull from database. Now after adding uh, whatever the information you want, you have to use uh, this uh, builder, uh, builder parameter and you have to say with detail. So, uh, so this is the method uh, you have to use and you just have to pass that value here and you can even specify the key if you want let's say for example um, uh, I don't know user metrics or something like that uh, let me change that current users now if you want you can add uh, other information as well in this uh, user metrics uh, let's say for example uh, in act 2 users let's say five so all right so that's how you do that now let me restart my service and after refreshing yeah you can see that uh, there's one more metrics added uh, which is user metrics and uh, some information so that's how you configure your uh, activator um, info api so this is pretty much useful when you want to expose a few application information to devops guy or the support guy so thanks for viewing guys if you like this video don't forget to subscribe us and stay tuned